Hi, I'm author and designer Rebecca Kemp Brent. If you have a blank piece of fabric and some fun and exciting threads, you can create your own fabrics with a few simple stitches to make a work of art or coordinating fabric for any project that you choose. The simplest of these methods, I'm going to start with a plain piece of fabric and for this or for any decorative stitch work it's always proper to stabilize the fabric. I like spray starch and since all I'm doing on this particular fabric is a straight stitch that's going to work just fine. Sometimes you may need to add a little tearaway stabilizer behind. I'm choosing a thread from my selection. I like to use a variegated or a multicolored thread for a project like this because it's a great way to add a little extra color to the fabric without having to change threads while you sew. I've drawn a grid of lines on my fabric on the diagonal, which I like to use because I think it's a little more interesting, but also because the diagonal, the bias, is a little bit more forgiving sometimes when you're doing this kind of stitching. And I've spaced my lines an inch apart, but you can vary that any way you choose. So I have my machine set up. I'm going to go to the machine and start stitching on one of the lines near the center of my project. Now your machine may also have an attachment that attaches to the back of your presser foot that will let you gauge the distance between lines. You can use that if you like, or if you're really fortunate and you have a machine like this one, you have a laser that points exactly where you need to stitch and you can use that as you sew to guide your stitches. So we're going to start with a row of stitches plain straight stitch and I'm set my length for three millimeters just so it has a little bit more stitch definition. And all I have to do is just sew along the line of stitches. Sew along the guideline. When I get to the end of the row of stitching, I'll lift my presser foot and turn the fabric around and this time I'm going to use the edge of the presser foot or one of the inside guidelines on my foot to guide the next row of stitches and just sew again not too far away from that first row. This would be a great place to use the laser pointer. You don't have to be perfect which is one of the important things about this technique. Some variation in the distance between those lines can actually add to the appeal of the project. So what I do is I do three lines of stitches close together and then on the next line I'll stitch a single row of stitches. And I just alternate all the way across my fabric and then come back and do the second set of lines in the perpendicular direction. And the result is these great fabrics that coordinate with the other fabrics in my project. Of course you don't have to stay with straight stitches to use these ideas. For this one I've actually used the zigzag stitches on my machine. And to get a little bit heavier look on the thread, you can either choose to use a heavyweight thread, which is actually a bigger diameter, or you can use a machine on, uh, stitch on your machine that's called a triple zigzag stitch, which actually goes back and forth and will lay down three thicknesses of thread as it creates the stitch. You can also see from this that you don't have to stitch an entire fabric, you can do just a border. This little sample is just a quickie to show the difference between different thread weights. So we have the heavy weight and the light weight as well as the all-purpose. It's always a good idea to stitch out a sample first because sometimes you'll find with some of the stitches the heavy weight thread may actually give you a little bit more thread than you want on the surface of your project. Another stitch I like to use is the alphabets on the machine. And I think it's fun to stitch lettering as well as anything else and use that to create borders and fabrics. For this sample, I've taken a striped fabric. This is ticking, which is an old fashioned fabric, but becoming trendy again. And I've just stitched the decorative stitches in between the stripes on my fabric. If you don't want to work with straight stitches, you can play around with the decorative stitches on your machine and that same grid technique and build up a stitched plaid using all kinds of decorative stitches. You can also 
take a shirt that you already have, something ready-made, or if you like to go thrifting, this is a great place to use a thrift store project. Use the thread that coordinates and play with your decorative stitches to add some pizzazz to your shirt. I think this is a great way to become acquainted with a new sewing machine or to reacquaint yourself with an old one.